Hey guys, welcome today to the DIY shop. Today we're gonna do something a little bit fun and simple. I got this Echo 2620 blower. So what I did comes with the screws. Not the, the only thing I don't like that it does come with a choke, but it's too loose. It doesn't have like a little O-ring where it could stay in place. So uh, once you put the adapter on top, then this is, you know, very loose. So vibration will close it. So whoever designed it didn't do a very good job. You could probably <clears throat> grind it a little bit to put some force on it. But um, other than that, I might just not use it. Because it turns on without the choke. So I might use an O-ring also. I need to put a little spacer and uh, it comes with the screws so it's just a you know little filter with a clamp adjustable clamp and uh yeah one of my issues is that uh, i'm also going to be doing the same thing to the to the echo weed eater <clears throat> when you t open the gas this edge is a little sharp you know i don't know how these engineers don't think about these things move the cap a little bit more so i'm always scraping my knuckles here on, on this thing here, sometimes you're in a rush trying to put gas in it. So this this should be either higher or something, or this should be out more. Then you, you know, another thing I'm gonna be doing is putting some rubber feet on the bottom. It's plastic, so and this thing is always like running around. You put it on the floor and it's on. It goes all over the place. It wants to kind of follow you. But other than that, it's a great great blower. Um, at the beginning I had some issues with the carburetor I ended up getting me the tool for it it's not a regular flat screwdriver let me see I don't know if you can see it in there eh, it's hard to see it's kind of like a half moon type screwdriver and uh, you need to get it in there to adjust it um, <clears throat> I still have a lot of fun with it and, and here we go so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna just remove the cap I'm gonna keep the original parts just in case, you know, it's still under warranty. So if I need to take it into the dealer for any repairs. Um, <clears throat> I've had Echo for many, many, many years. So um, so it comes with the air filter and uh, some little plastic mesh here. Also with a, also comes with the foam filter that I removed right away. So I'm gonna be removing this this the distance between here and here i believe is 31 millimeters so i found this so the kit so i don't have to do any anything changes to that uh, there is only one little issue that this little metal tab from the accelerator when you accelerate it it touches the aluminum so i'm either going to put a spacer on it or i'm going to go ahead and grind it a little bit with the dremel and that should be good so either either or you can still you know if you have either either option it'll work i think it's going to look pretty cool for removing these two screws it's a torx so very simple those these two screws i'm going to use the original bolts I think they work I'm gonna see they fall into the little flange over here Check. oh yeah they do they're silver they match nice so I'm gonna use the original bolts better so it does you do have the choke system here but I don't need it for this one um, unless you really want to modify this thing and put it on you could if you wanted to I try to put a little o-ring right here to put a little pressure on this so it doesn't slide it does have a little seal here but it's still not a hundred percent you know tight right here so you would need it to be tighter I don't know it's hard to see there's a little space here but I don't think I'm going to use it. <clears throat> so like I say, when you do this here and you put this on it directly, when you gas it, it, it this little 
then it hits this. So I'm not just gonna do an O-ring and see if that works. If not, then I'm just gonna grind it just a little bit. Very simple. Let's see if the O-ring stays in place. If not, I'll just do, a, do the Dremel. No biggie. Just a fun. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I love messing around with this stuff. I've ported them in the past. You know, ported the intake, exhaust. They run pretty sweet. But, um, you know, they get a little louder. I don't want the neighbors to be upset at me. So I'm keep the, keeping this one pretty stock. I'm gonna just bring it in just as much as I can. I'll slip in the O-ring. I got a little O-ring kit. If you don't, you could always uh, put a, do the grinding here. You know, I just realized that I think the O-ring is too big. Go ahead, that O-ring's too big. Oops. It's big enough for this, but I was trying to find a smaller adapter, but um, I couldn't find any with the 31 millimeter spacing for the screws. So this one seemed to be work perfect. If you have a 3D printer, you can make some really cool stuff. So O-ring's a little bit too big for the intake, but if I get a smaller one, it's gonna to be too small for this one. So I guess I'm stuck doing a little grinding right here. So what I am gonna do, I'm gonna put this in the carburetor so you don't get anything in there. All right. I'm gonna probably just do it on the spot there. Okay, so I removed the carb, make it a little easier to, for me since I'm a little short. Cover it, make sure no particles get inside the engine or the carburetor. Very simple, you know, it's a little grinding wheel. Just grind it a little bit <clears throat> so it doesn't hit the, the this adapter and we should be good to go. Gotta be careful with the sparks. We we're right next to the gas tank, so it wasn't the smartest thing in the world. But I think we should be okay. Alright. Let's put the gasket back in. Oh, first we're gonna connect this guy.
There we go there. Hopefully I should do it. Don't over torque these. All right, let's try it out. Beautiful. Okay, great. It also comes with Allen screws if you want to use them, it's up to you. I wanted to use the original ones. Put the adapter in. Doesn't have to be super tight, but enough for it to vibration won't uh, come loose. So now I could open the gas. I have I don't have this plastic thing busting my knuckles. I do have this one here now. Maybe I'll get rid of this thing too. I do another video on that, but. It's just more open. You know, so this, this this cap should be out more, a little bit more angle. And I believe it should be a little higher than the top of the gas tank so you could get more gas in there. Sometimes I take this um, to the properties to you know do some blowing and stuff like that. I want to make sure I have as much gas as possible. Um, I'm not a landscaper, but I do enjoy you know using the equipment. And uh, here we go. Okay, guys, verdict is... Sounds great, feels awesome, and uh, I'm super excited. Love using the blower. You can hear a little bit of the intake, so if you're gonna do it, just be careful, you know, with the gas and the sparks, or you could use a little file little by little. So I, I personally don't use the choke, you know, I squeeze it about five, six times, and it turns right on. Um, it's good enough for me, so I don't use it every day. But uh, if you want to do it, kind of cool, different colors. I'll put the links below and uh, enjoy. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Okay guys, verdict is, sounds great, feels awesome, and uh, I'm super excited, love using the blower. You can hear a little bit of the intake, so if you're going to do it, just be careful, you know, with the gas and the sparks, or you could use a little file little by little. So I, I personally don't use the choke, you know, I squeeze it about five, six times, and it turns right on. Um, it's good enough for me, so I don't use it every day. But uh, if you want to do it,
kind of cool different colors i'll put the links below and uh enjoy if you have any questions or anything like that let me know and uh we'll go from there thanks guys I'm using these little feet. You could pick these up at Home Depot. It'll come with a little screw in it. So basically what I'm gonna do, you know, put the blower on the side. They're very soft. If you get them plastic, it'll still move around because this, you know, the base is plastic. And uh, I've always done that. Uh, This is a very simple procedure. All you gotta do is, you know, pre-drill it. Make sure you get the right size. Don't go too big on it or too, too, too small, but it'll still work. Don't go too big because then it'll strip it. It'll just spin and then you're gonna lose a little feet. And then it's gonna be a sad day. So here we go. See, very simple. You don't even have to go so deep. These only go maybe a quarter. I think they also sell them in black if you want something a little nicer to match. I've tried gluing the soft rubber and eventually comes off. I haven't had much luck with it. I've tried crazy glue. I've tried different types of glue. So I ended up just getting these. Works for me. So, perfect. So they won't slide in the back of your truck and uh, it won't chase you around the backyard when you leave it on by itself. Like I mentioned before, for the carburetor, you could use the, I guess it's called single D. It's kind of like a little half moon or something like that. Very small. I purchased the whole kit, different sizes, just in case for other different models. You get this at Amazon. Then it has a little hole down here, you can adjust it. I've had to do it a few times. So, I'm in South Florida, so got, sometimes it's very humid, it doesn't run as good. Sometimes it gets very dry in the winter time, so it works for me. And there she is. Little upgrade, rubber feet, nice little intake here. Looking pretty cool. final product I have been having so much fun using this blower the way it is now sounds pretty cool I did have a little issue with it was turning off on me um, it looks like this little uh, wa um, washer here. and uh, I put it backwards and uh, now it's running fine make sure you put it correctly but uh, lots of fun looks pretty cool and uh, hopefully many years to come using this baby questions concerns comments let me know subscribe thanks for watching